Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. I'm having a very hard hair day. <laughs> How are you guys? Are you doing okay? Yes, okay, teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Nice, Marcos. Hello, Estela. Good evening, Iris, Marina. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you doing? Everything good? Fine. Great. Oh, hi. Okay, bye. great. That's nice. Hello, Carla Maria. How are you doing tonight? Hello. I'm fine. Okay, good, good. Uh, good evening, Marielos. Good evening, Guadalupe. Good evening, teacher. How, how do you feel tonight? How do you feel today? Do you feel better? Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, people, we are going to start tonight by taking the... Oh, hello, Jorge. There you are. Good evening. I'm going to take evening, the... teacher. Okay. Hi. Okay, I'm going to uh, call the roll. And please remember uh, that the requirement is that you should have your cameras on and you should say present when you hear that I call your name, okay? Mm -hmm. I try to do this kind of fast but it's taking us too long to take the attendance, ¿verdad? Así que pongámonos listos, vamos a ver. El requerimiento es que tengamos encendida nuestra cámara, que digamos presente cuando oímos que dicen nuestro nombre, pero lo más importante es que estemos listos, porque nos toma bastante tiempo la llamada, ¿verdad?, eh, de la asistencia, y pues toma más tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pongámonos buzos ahí a apretar y decir presente, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. I will start now. Carol Ibet Chávez Reyes. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Okay. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present, present. present. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. José Mauricio García Hernández. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Lucía Azucena Chica de Claros. Present. Ok, Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Luz Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loais. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Present. Oh, hello, Yulisa. Eh, Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. En cámara está un poco triste, Lisette del Carmen. Ok. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present, present. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Okay, there we go, guys. 
Well, we were studying in this unit how to communicate, right? Communication at the workplace. Just let me uh, put this thing enable, just enable my camera one second. There it is, it should be working now, okay. Okay, people, so uh, just remembering and uh, just, just uh, as a manner of feedback, we want to say that we were studying uh, the past simple tense, asking questions and uh, um, practicing positive and negative statements, right? Okay, ahorita vamos a hacer una eh, actividad de lectura que tenemos en la página 25 de nuestro manual, okay? La página 25 de nuestro manual, page 25 in our manuals, it's a reading, okay? Sorry, it's page 26, page 26, page 26. I'm going to read it first, okay? It's kind of long, es larga la lectura. Entonces, eh, lo voy a leer una vez. Luego nos vamos a ir al breakout room para que ustedes lo lean, lo comprendan y contesten ahí true or false, ¿ok? Que hagan de, la actividad de comprensión de lectura, the comprehension activity, ¿ok? It's about an experience of, of these two girls in, um, in networking, ¿ok? This is networking. This is just to practice the simple past tense. Here we go. Okay, people, here we have this. This is. Sorry, it moved. It's 26. Okay, it says, last week I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I said a goal last year, I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Alison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. I felt surprised because she, trust, she trusted me that feeling. I gotta know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Let me move this a little. Here's my advice. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. There are several benefits on this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Okay. Vamos a tomar ahorita 30 segunditos, ¿ok? Para que así, a ojo de pájaro, skimming, we are going to skim the verbs in the past tense. A ver, todos ubicando los verbos en tiempo pasado por acá. So. Great. Had. Another one. Good. Continue. Had. Uh -huh. Mention it. Mentioned. Mm -hmm. I have mentioned. 
surprised, surprised, goat, gut, a uh, gut, gained, oh, no, gained, gained, mm -hmm. past, past, gained, good. Attend. Attend. Hmm? Attend as in present. Oh. It doesn't say attended, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see any other? No. No? Okay. Worried. Worried. Yes. That's a very good. Uh, that's a very good verb, but it was, uh, I was worried. It said she worried a lot, right? She worried a lot. Yes. Hmm? Said, said. Este que dice aquí, said, ven que aquí dice she said. Ese no se pronuncia said. Se dice said, okay? She said, she said. El pasado de decir, ¿verdad? El presente sería say. Okay, people, so what are they talking about here? What is this girl or this woman talking about? ¿De qué se trata esta lectura? Um, The, the new the new contact Allison and Sam. Allison uh-huh is like he say what doing the last week okay mm hmm an activity that she did, right, last week. She did, she was doing, okay. The thing here is that this, uh, this woman, Miss Tate, Miss Tate, okay, is telling about her experience because she wanted to make contacts or new contacts. And she said that she had a goal for the new year, right? She wanted to get in contact with at least five people. And Alison was one of them, right? So uh, she invited her and they um, agreed to have a lunch, right? To have lunch together. So um, I'm going to stop sharing and please, now we are going to the breakout rooms. You please read this in a loud voice, okay? Lo leen en voz alta por lo menos una vez y luego Vamos a, uh, van a resolver las preguntas de verdadero y falso que están abajo de esa lectura, ¿ok? Page 26 in your manuals. Everybody getting ready with that, uh, with that page, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Uh -huh. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Read and after answer the question. Correct. Correct. Everybody on the same page, page 26. So I'm going to uh, let you join to the group you want, okay? Ok, ahí hay ocho salas creadas, ok, ahí ustedes van a poder eh, unirse a la que ustedes quieran, pero por favor no se unan más de cuatro, ok, 
porque si no, no van a tener oportunidad de leer. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Lucía, ahí puede unirse a la sala que usted desee, Marta Lidia también. En la sala 6 solo está Carla María, ahí se pueden unir Marta Lidia, ahí se puede unir Lucía, en la sala 6. Carolibet. Hi, teacher. Ahorita Hi. acabo de entrar. Sí, así estoy viendo. Eh, ahorita estamos en eh, los breakout rooms. Vamos a hacer una lectura en la página 26 del manual. Eh, por ahí les abrí las, las salas de reunión. Si, usted va, si gusta, váyase a la sección de grupos. A ah, ver okay. si le ha aparecido eh, para unirse en cualquiera de las salas. Ahí usted decide en cuál. Ah, sí, sí. Okay. ok. Gracias. Vaya. Your... But we really we know no. age Oster very well. I set a goal last year. I, I can, will, will. Yeah. I have one on one networking meeting with at let find new contacts. The year me fit contacts meeting was Allison. Your meeting was so, so. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice la que sigue? Rewarding o guarding. Rewarding. 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 Set a one to share the experience. Experience. Ok. Uh, during lunch. Ay, se, se, se lo moví. Ahí está. During lunch, Alison um, mentioned that she was, uh, she by nature in the past. She said she worried, she worried a lot before going to large, large networking events. I felt surprised because she trusted with that feeling I good to know more about her the industry she worked working work in 
and about her expectation for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from a small, a small talk to a smart talk. Here, here is my advice to you when you attend business events. Do not just go and discuss business problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least two new people by, by sharing, sharing in one on one with working coffee, lunch and dinner. There are several benefits on this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking scores, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Very good, Julio Cesar. There you have to read, build meaningful. Build, build. construir, build. 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 Así como se oye, build, build, build. Mm -hmm. build. meaningful, 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 meaningful. Don't be afraid, guys. Don't be afraid. Try to be more confident. You are doing a very good job. Very good job. Please don't be afraid. No tengan miedo, okay? Just speak. Speak. Suelten la lengua, okay? Teacher, lo que pasa es que mi lengua no habla como mi mente lo piensa. <laughs> <laughs> mi mente yeah, lo dice that's también. Normal. <laughs> that's normal. Y también nuestro acento nos afecta un poco porque nosotros no pronunciamos la letra S muchas veces. Y entonces no hacemos, no cerramos las palabras, ¿verdad? Miren, las palabras. <laughs> ya dije yo. Algo así. <laughs> Ajá. O sea, eso, eso hace que también nosotros nos dificulte un poquito. Entonces, Ubiquemos que nuestro cerebro diga todos los sonidos que ahí están, ¿verdad? Forcemos un poquito y ahí vamos. You are doing a very good job. Continue, guys. Continue. Thank, thank you, teacher. Okay. Supuestamente la primera dice que Allison y Tays si se vieron antes por primera vez la semana pasada, pero en el párrafo, según entiendo yo, ellas dice que se habían visto en tres seminarios en el año pasado. O sea que es falso. Falso, correcto. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, sí. Very good, Julissa. Por si ya se habían visto. Ok. Ok, solo déjenme darle un, un tip, ok. Porque veo que entiende bien lo que dice ahí. Let's try not to use Spanish. Let's use that vocabulary. Usemos el, leamos tal como está ahí el inglés para que lo vayamos absorbiendo. Porque usted entendió lo que dice. Pero es hay que, que decir. Es mi problema. Ese Ajá. es mi problema. Yo le yes. puedo leer o describir, pero ya al escucharle no le entiendo. Ok. Pero okay. yo le puedo o traducir bastante, pero me cuesta. Correct. Escucharlo. And I understand that. Yo la comprendo perfectamente, Yulisa. Entonces, ya que detectamos cuál es el problema suyo, hay que forzar al cerebro a ya no hacer lo que está haciendo, sino que a tratar de hacer algo nuevo, algo diferente. ¿Qué es lo diferente? Usar el vocabulario que está frente a usted, que es el que está escrito ahí. Léalo como está ahí, no Spanish, for, because you understand, right? Because you understand. So just read it in English, okay? Okay. Okay, let's continue, continue, guys. Continue. You are doing a very good job, but in English, please. Miss Tate set a net networking call. For each year. For each year. Networking is what is? Establish relations. 
relationships, uh, through the networks, right? To, to the social networks, through email, through Twitter, through Facebook, or maybe online in a different way, or just by phone when you went to a seminar, you exchanged your business card. So you get in touch with that people, with the, I mean, with those people. Right. Okay. Get in contact. Right. In the last year. No, 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 no. In the parapho, they dice. I said a world class jerk. Has a one one network meeting. And the last thing you go out. Your contact is your. Hello, um, Jorge. What happened? Uh, um, I, se, se cayó el internet, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what group were you in? Let me see. Group, uh, uh, number four. Number four. Okay. Uh, number four, there is no one. So let's see. Who with were you working? Estaba con Carla Raquel. Carla Raquel, okay, let me see because I don't see her either. Okay, I'm sending you there. It's you, room teacher. one. Oh. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Marta Lidia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Kenny. Ahorita Sorry. estamos en, en breakout room. Estamos haciendo una actividad de lectura. Ok. Uh, la voy a enviar a un grupo. Ok. Ok. Página 26, page 26 okay. in your manual. Ok. Ok. There, there you go. During lunch. It's true. Because mm -hmm. yes. the paragraph mm -hmm. say during lunch. Mm -hmm. And Mira, grandes events. Entonces yo siento que para mí es true. True. Sí. Ok, ¿Qué, ¿qué dice la compañera? Laura. La número 3. Number 3. True o false. 3 o 4. What do you see is true or false? True. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, la cinco igual, verdad? 
Hello, Lucía, number Hola. five. You, you can say yeah. number five. Es la costumbre, es la costumbre que es yeah. el primer idioma que me sale. <laughs> okay, let's push your brain. Lo, el otro no quiere salir. Ajá, uh -huh. so push it, push it, then you are going to say number five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Try to use as much you can the vocabulary, okay? Continue, you are doing a good job. Five. Okay. Um, um, it's uh, true. Five. Um, this is three. Uh, people be chiding a one on. Entonces, para mí es verdadero, es verdadero, no, él está estableciendo. Él está estableciendo, este... Hello. Hello. Is it true or is it false? Use vocabulary. True or false? It is true. Okay, question then two. use English. No, number two. Uh, number two. Question number two is true. It's true. Okay, use your vocabulary. Ileana too, please. Continue, you are doing a good job, but do it in English. Okay, use okay. English. Okay. okay, thank you. Question uh, three is, is um, when she, do, she doesn't work. I was alone. Marta, no you had trouble, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, but did you finish the activity? Yes. Okay. So you were able to do it. Uh, now I I called all the all the groups already, so they are coming to the main room. Okay. Okay, then. This is an experience that you're talking about, right? So now let's think about the statements we have in these exercises, because here we've got to say if what they are saying is true or it is false, okay? So let's read number one. Okay, let's read number one. Lucia, please read number one. Allison and Mr. Tyler saw each other for the first time last week. Okay, true. everyone, everyone, please say, is it true or is it false? Thank you, Lucia. Is it false? True? Is it false? False. True. False. <laughs> false. <laughs> False or true, guys? False. 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 <laughs> Why? Can you tell me in what paragraph can we compare if this thing is true or is it, um, or is it false or this is false? Mm -hmm. Because because it is a three seminars. Okay, it yeah. says. We saw each other. Uh huh. Uh, we saw each other at three seminars. 
over the past, year. The past, over the past year. year okay we saw each other over the past year at three seminars so it was not the first time right mm -hmm. no. because here it says Allison and Miss Tate saw each other for the first time last week mm -mm. No. right mm -mm. Mm -mm. so it is completely false 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 okay let's yes. say it's false. Mm, let's mark it in a different way. <laughs> okay, false. Now, number two, number two, you Lisa, please. Read it. Can you read it? Yes. Miss, Miss Tate said a networking world for the start. Okay, guys, everyone, tell me is this true or is this false 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 tell me why where Be can i compare that because it's set a goal last year aha uh -huh. that's very no good in point. this no in this year okay aha uh -huh. so it was the last year for this year right so let's go and check it out it says Miss Tate set a networking goal for this year. Let's go and compare. Vamos a comparar en el párrafo. ¿En dónde podríamos encontrar eso? Vamos a ver quién me lo lee. ¿Dónde está? Yes. For, the first. For. Uh -huh. I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with a less find new contact this year. Okay, it says, I set a goal last, last year. year. Okay, look at this. And here it says, Miss Tate set a networking goal for, for, uh, for. So it's a direction, right? For this year, for this year. So, yes, she said it last year, but it was for this year. Okay, it was for this year. So let's read it again. Vamos a leerlo nuevamente. Aha, uh -huh. como dice ahí? At least five new contacts when? No, new contacts when? This yeah. year. Yeah. This year. Mm -hmm. Okay, es cierto. Ella no hizo la, no, no se puso la meta este año. Este año, ella iba a cumplir su propósito que estableció el año pasado. ¿Ok? Entonces, leámoslo acá. Miss Tate set a networking goal for this year. A ver, ¿es falso o es verdadero? Vamos a ver, ¿es it true or is it false? Uh -huh. Ya les entró la duda, ¿verdad? Uh, false. False. Ok. False. Ahora false. explíquenmelo ustedes por qué lo miran false. Um, Porque desde el año pasado se puso su meta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Para cuándo? ¿Para cuándo? Try. True, true. Set a networking goal. Está trabajando ya en esa meta. Entonces, ¿es falso o es verdadero? It's true. 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 I think it is 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 true. Viéndolo así. Ella no está estableciendo la meta este año. Ella estableció su meta desde el año pasado que para este año, que okay, para este año yo voy a tener esos cinco nuevos contactos. Ok. So, may stay set a networking goal for this year. Mira, si of course, she did, right? She did. Yes. Oh, it yeah. is true, right? Got it? Si sí, no les queda duda, ¿verdad? No. no. No, that's, okay, number three, number three. Who wants to read number three? A volunteer. I'm so confused. 
confess she hates network errands. Thank you very much. Pronunciamos bien este verbo, hated. 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 Yeah. Y con la T suave, hated. 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 It's a good first different in working errands. Okay. So she confessed, right? She confessed. What Alison confessed? She hated networking events. Is it true or is it false? False. 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 true. False. Someone said true. Why true or why false? Why? False. False because Alison boring. mentioned is boring and a warrior, not hated. Okay, okay, uh -huh. yeah, she was worried, like afraid of doing it because she was shy. It's not that she didn't want to or she didn't like these events, right? Okay, yes, we could say it is false, right? It is false. It doesn't say she hated networking events. It doesn't say that. Okay, number four. Uh, le vamos a poner el rojito. The red, yeah, okay. Now, let's go and see number four. Number four. Marcos Amilcar, could you please read number four? Okay, teacher. Uh, Miss Tate and Allison passed pass from a small toll to a smart toll during lunch. Thank you very much. Veamos la pronunciación ahí. Talk no lleva la L en la pronunciación. Es talk, talk. talk. Sin el talk, okay? It's talk. 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 Small talk, smart talk. A ver, todos, sin esa L, talk. 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 Lo mismo es con el verbo walk, okay? Walk, caminar. Walk. Talk. Walk. Talk. Lo mismo. Esa L no se pronuncia cuando va con la K. Bien. Talk. Ahora, ¿cómo pronunciamos este verbo? Past. 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 Una T al final. Past. Past. Okay. Thank you very much. Is this statement true or is this false? True. True. Okay. True. Tell me why. I passed from small talk to smart talk. Excellent. Talk. During lunch? Yes, right? During yes. lunch. Okay, then. So it is true. Number five. Uh, Marta Lidia, please. Uh, could you please read number five? Miss Tate. Mitinet. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Mentioned. 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 Three benefit of one on one networking meetings. Okay. What do you think, guys? Is this true or uh, sorry, sorry, guys? Sorry, sorry. Uh, 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 okay. Is it true or is it false? True. 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 Did she mention three benefits? Did you count on the three benefits? Los contaron? No. Okay, it says, Miss Tate mentioned three benefits of one-on-one -on -one networking meetings. Vamos a verlos, a ver, díganme, um, ¿cuáles son? You expand your contacts. Okay. Improve your networking skills. Okay. And you build um, meaningful connection with the people in the industry. They are three. Are they three? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted you to go to really confirm the information. That's comprehension. Okay. That's comprehension. Siempre que ustedes lean un texto y lo quieran comprender, así como en español, vamos y lo volvemos a leer a ver si es cierto que eso dice. Lo mismo en inglés. Okay. The same as in Spanish we do in English. So it is true, right? There we go. True. Ahora, vamos a ver un expand... Uh, a little of expanding the vocabulary here because here in this uh, light blue box we have something very interesting so let me erase this drawings and let's read this vamos a ver ay perdón 
Ahora sí, cierro acá y los paso para acá. Here we go. Leamos entonces este cuadrito celeste. This light blue box. And it says, when networking with people at meetings, conferences, association meetings, or conventions, learn to ask interesting information questions to get the conversation going. Change the standard. What do you do for a living for a more creative question to enrich the human exchange? Like, what inspires you and your job? What are your daily challenges? Ahora, veamos acá. ¿Qué es lo que nos están diciendo? Esto es un consejo, ¿verdad? Esto es, this is like a tip, right? What should we do when we network with people? What do we do? We should ask interesting information questions. Esa es la parte central de esto, ¿ok? Cuando nosotros vamos a tener una conversación con alguien, definitivamente tenemos que usar interesting information questions. Preguntas que de verdad son de interés en este caso, no interesantes por ser curiosas o capciosas, no, de interés, ¿ok? Preguntas que valgan la pena, que de verdad consigan la información que nosotros necesitamos saber. Y nos dice que seamos un poco creativos. Aquí tenemos una situación. Estamos en el nivel 3 de inglés, entonces nos están diciendo que seamos aún más creativos. Lo que les decía ahorita a todos en las salas, ¿verdad? Use your vocabulary. Use your vocabulary. Don't stop. Don't stop your brain. Just Say what you want to say, even though, even though you think that you are mistaken. No tengan miedo de cometer errores, okay? Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Just say what you want to say, okay? Diga lo que usted quiere decir. Ahora, <coughs> les están explicando acá que hay una pregunta muy común What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Y nosotros, desde el módulo 1, módulo 2, hemos aprendido, what do you do? Right? What is your profession? What is your occupation? We say, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Is a very common question. A ver, podemos enriquecer esas preguntas usando esas dos que tenemos ahí. ¿Cuáles dos preguntas debemos aprender? A ver. Vamos a ver un voluntario, a volunteer. What inspires you in your job? Okay, very good. So, what are but, your daily challenges? What are your daily challenges? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you let people talk. Y usted deje hablar a la gente a que le conteste, right? Mm -hmm. Then you are going to learn so more. If someone asks you these questions, mm -hmm. for example, what inspires you in your job? No se vayan a las nubes para dar la respuesta, okay? Mm -hmm. Inspire es como decir, eh, ¿cuál es tu motivación, okay? No necesariamente que vamos a hablar de sentimientos y cosas grandes, no. Inspires es así como tal. ¿Qué lo motiva a usted en su trabajo? ¿O por qué hace ese trabajo? ¿Ya? En pocas palabras, ¿por qué hace ese trabajo? What inspires you and your job? ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. What inspires you and your job? ¿Qué le dice? My baby. <laughs> Your baby, okay, good, because you have a, a baby. That's information for the other <laughs> person. Thank you very much, very good answer. Okay, uh, now, talking professionally, okay, talking professionally, we will say, uh, what inspires you and your job? Well, I like working with people, right? I like sales, I like um, making, uh, um, 
uh, making new connections, right? It depends on the area that you work at, right? It's, it depends on the area that you work at. For example, what inspires you and your job? If you work in a bank, because I love numbers, because I am an accountant, okay? Entonces, a lo que se refiere acá, le van a contestar, vamos a contestar con nuestra profesión y vamos a contestar una simple razón por la que hacemos eso, ¿ok? No necesariamente inspire emocionalmente, sino que inspire in action, ¿ok? What are your daily change challenges? What are your daily challenges? What are your daily challenges? A ver. ¿Qué podríamos contestar en esa pregunta? No vamos a ponernos a hablar de problemas. No, ahí no nos están pidiendo que hablemos de problemas o obstáculos. No, estamos hablando prácticamente de metas. Ok, estamos prácticamente hablando de objetivos. What are your daily challenges? Ah, uh, to be more efficient, right? To do better my job. That's my challenge. Ok, my own challenge. Uh, no necesariamente, lo que les quiero decir que estas dos preguntas que nos están diciendo acá prácticamente vienen a, re, a, re, a sustituir what do you do, ¿ok? No estamos hablando que usted va a contestar con una eh, respuesta en las nubes, en los arcoíris y, y sentimentalmente y emocionalmente, no. Simplemente es tu profesión y una cosa que lo motiva a hacerlo, ¿ok? For example, if I am an accountant, I love working with numbers. Just that, okay? Bien, vamos entonces a la siguiente parte de nuestra clase. Ese fue nada más repasando en acción todo lo que ya hemos visto, okay? So, vamos a ver ahorita. Estábamos estudiando could and would you mind, remember? And yes. How, how do we use could and how do we use would you mind? Would you mind? I use verb with ing. 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 And could, could you and the verb form natural. <laughs> okay, uh, we will say in the base form. Base form. The base, form. base form. Okay, great. But let's see here. When should I use could and when should I use would you mind? ¿En qué situaciones yo uso esas dos estructuras? Remember? When you ask uh, for a favor, you can use, could you mind, could, I'm sorry. Okay, could you, no could you please? Could you, could no. you please? Could you, could you please? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yes. We need to ask uh, politely, okay? Mm -hmm. When we want to request for something, when we want to make a request, yeah, when we are when we are having a small talk, okay, for asking for a favor, okay, ask asking for someone to do a favor for me, right? So in that in those cases, we use could and would you mind? So let's go back to that slide because there we have just one detail to see. One detail to see. So when we want to ask for polite requests, then uh, make, uh, I'm sorry. When we want to make polite requests, then we use could and would. So let's see this. Ahorita ustedes me van a ir diciendo que es lo correcto, could or would, en estos eh, enunciados que vamos a ver. Okay, this statement. Remember that when we use could, we use the base form of the verb. 
And when we have ing, then we use would you mind, right? We use would you mind with ing, we use could you with uh, the base form of the verb. So let's start. Let's start. These are some statements. Um, making polite uh, request, okay? Polite requests. Let's read number one. What idea do you see here? Turn on the fun. Ese sería como, si lo decimos sin la estructura, could you, y, el, y la palabra mágica, please, ¿verdad? Please. Quedaría please. como un imperativo, ¿verdad? Quedaría como un imperativo, turn on the fun, right? Un imperativo. Pero como nosotros queremos hablar amablemente, educadamente y muy propiamente en nuestro ambiente de, ambiente de trabajo para no parecer la reina de Saba, vea, dando órdenes o para no ser el mandón, entonces vamos a usar, could you please, would you mind? Number one, number one, do we use could you or we use would you mind in number one? Could you. Could you. Would you mind. Could you. Could you. Good job. Good job. Ok, ahora hay un detalle. Please lo podemos poner al principio o lo podemos poner al final, ok? Al principio me refiero a en medio, después de could you please, ¿verdad? Could you please. Ay, could you turn on the fan, please? Ok, aquí podríamos poner please at the end. Mm -hmm. Ok, here we go. So, now, number two. Would you mind saying? Would you mind? 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 <clears throat> ok, number three. Would you mind? So, Would you mind? Okay. <coughs> Number four, oh. Jorge. I about starting a meeting right now. Call you. Call Hold me you. in twenty. Call you. Call you. Call you. Okay. I about you. start a meeting right. Call you. Mm -hmm. Ahora, ¿le ponemos please o no le ponemos please? No. no. <laughs> sí puede ir please en cualquiera de los dos lugares. Puede ir, could you please call me in 20? O, could you call me in 20, please? O, just could you call me in 20? Cualquiera de los tres sería correcto. ¿Ok? Ok, vamos a ver. Let's look at number five. Would, would you mind? You mind? Would you mind? Would you mind what? Would you mind, would you would you mind, mind reading the instruction manual before us? Assembling. Assembling. Assembling it. Okay. Number six. Two. Who? Cool. Could you speak louder? Okay. De la misma manera, puede ir. Could you please speak louder? Okay. Y eso sería una muy buena manera. Okay. Porque si ponemos please, estamos usando una palabra mágica que nadie se resiste, ¿verdad? Number seven, Guadalupe. Could you? Could you what? Please, you please, please, could you help me with this? Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, Guadalupe was saying, could you please, right? Could you please? And Guadalupe, read the complete question. Uh, oh, okay. So, so lo dije, la frase, perdón. Yeah. Could you help me? Help me. Es que no veo. With 
This after uh -huh. long time. Lunch please. time. Lunch time, please. Okay. So please at the end. Okay, let's be careful of not repeating twice. They uh, please, right? Could you please and please at the end, right? So could you? And then she says that at the end, she wants to say please, right? There you go. Number eight. Number eight, Ileana, please. Could you may open this window? Uh, let's check. What is the verb form that they are giving us here? Opening. It's an ing verb form, right? So we don't use could here. What do we use? Would you mind? Would you mind, Ileana? Would you mind? Yes. Would you mind opening the windows? Ok, y aquí viene lo interesante. ¿Cómo reaccionamos a estos requests? How do we react uh, when someone asks for a favor, right? For example, when someone says, could you turn on the fun? Ok, could you please turn on the fun? La okay. reacción puede ser, yeah, no problem. Yes, ok, right? Uh, right away, ok, right away. But let's think about number two. Would you mind sending me the last purchase report? Would you mind sending me the last purchases report? ¿Cómo podríamos reaccionar así en positivo? Que sí. Okay, okay in, the, in this moment. No problem. No problem. Yes. Sure. Okay, in this moment. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. 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 It's a very good word. Word. Uh -huh. Sure. Ahora, veamos. Imagínense que no lo tengo a la mano. Y qué sé yo, estoy fuera de la oficina. Uh, lo tengo en la computadora del trabajo. Okay. So, I'm not granting that I can do that, right? I cannot. So how am I going to refuse to this request? How, how can I refuse a request? How can I refuse a request? Sorry. Um, uh -huh. Sorry, I'm impossible. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I... Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. Uh -huh. Okay, la podemos poner como I'm afraid. Uh -huh. Pero demos una excusa acá por la que no podemos, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos que dar una excusa real y una, una situación, explicación. Tal vez no excusa. I don't have a computer. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. O, eh, I don't have, ok, eso sería así como bien directo, ¿verdad? I don't have a computer, ok. Ahora, lo puede hacer desde el teléfono, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces le podrían decir, bueno, si es el device, le van a empezar a decir otras cosas. Ahora, pensemos en algo que de verdad nos dificulta hacerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, podemos usar una palabra. Se las voy a decir acá ahorita. I'm unable. Okay. I'm unable to do it. Okay. I'm unable to do it right now. Yeah. I'm unable to do it right now. Okay. Es algo que no puede hacerse. No matter what, you cannot do that. Okay? No matter what, 
you cannot do something. So you can say, I'm unable to do it right now. Then I can say, I'm sorry, I'm unable to do it right now. Or I could say the real reason. I'm sorry, I'm out of the, out of the office. I'm sorry, I'm attending a conference right now, right? And saying what you really are doing. Okay, there we go. Ahora, cuando nosotros... Ajá. Uh -huh. Te sí. pudiera decir, I am busy in the moment. Decir, I'm busy at the moment, momento. yes. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I'm busy at the moment, ok. I'm busy at the moment. Pero oh, siempre diga, excuse me, or I'm sorry, ¿verdad? En este caso es, I'm sorry, lo más apropiado, ok. I'm sorry, I'm busy oh. at the moment. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ok. Primero el I'm sorry y después lo demás. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Ok. Cuando nosotros. Así, tell me. Sí, chef. Tell me. Um, como yo no estuve en la clase anterior, um, one question. Tell me. What do you mean is used in birds white in AMG? Uh, what do you mean? Ah, would you mind? If, vale, digámoslo bien, sí, este, um, Julissa. Would you mind? Well, you, you mind is uh -huh. set in birds quite uh, e eight and G. Correct, Julissa. You need to use an ing verb form. After, would you mind? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay, people. Now, uh, la última cosa que vamos a ver acerca de would you mind ahorita es que, por ejemplo, me dicen, would you mind send me, sending me the last purchases report? Okay. Would you mind sending me the last purchases report? Y yo le digo que si sí, realmente no es ningún problema, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a escuchar que dicen, no, no at all. <ríe> es algo confuso para nosotros porque están diciendo una respuesta negativa, pero es lo correcto. Ahora, les voy a explicar por qué. Porque el significado real de lo que estamos diciendo es a un tiempo futuro, ¿verdad? Que se realice esta acción a un tiempo futuro. Pero en realidad esa palabra mind mind viene a ser como si es eh, molesto o es eh, si me importa, si no me importa hacerlo, ok, no me importa en el sentido de que no me molesta hacerlo, entonces si yo le digo por ejemplo en español a Carla María mire le molestaría que le dé eh, estos 20 dólares a su mamá por decir algo, o sea ¿verdad? entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? ¿le molestaría? Si ella me dice, no, no me molestaría. Entonces, no, no ¿qué hago molestaría. yo? Se lo doy, ¿verdad? Se lo doy. Entonces, ese no me molestaría es sí déselos, ¿ya? Es lo mismo con would you mind. Pero sabe que hay también, quizás ya viéndolo, es también no coma, uh -huh. me molestaría. Porque si yo lo digo, no oh, me molestaría. Yeah. Of course, of course. But that's just overthinking. <laughs> Eso ya es pensando aún más allá, ¿verdad? Pero sí, realmente ya esa es otra respuesta muy diferente. A lo que me refiero yo es que definitivamente cuando nosotros eh, eh, aceptamos hacerlo, que no me importa que eso suceda, no me molesta. Ok, would you mind sending me the last purchases report? Oh, not at all, right? Digo, no, not at all. Y esto significa... Uh, just one second. Oh, no me da el igual por el otro teclado. Oops. No, ya lo hay. Okay, it equals to say yes. Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Eh, también esta, esta frase la podríamos utilizar eh, would you mind 
por ejemplo, estamos comiendo y yo digo, eh, disculpa, te molesto, ¿me puedes alcanzar la sal, por favor? Exactly. Yes. Sí. Would you mind passing me the salt, right? Pero hay una cosa que nosotros en español sentimos como necesario decir me, ¿ok? Como me. Pero en realidad, en la mayoría de los casos, en los statements en inglés, no es necesario, solo sending, passing, ¿ok? Entonces, yo podría decir, mm, would you mind passing the salt, ¿ok? Would you mind passing the salt? And it's obvious that they are going to give me the salt because I am asking for the salt, ¿ok? So, uh, lo he dejado ahí, sending me, en la primera, en la número dos, porque normalmente eh, si yo pido un, un email en el trabajo, ¿a quién se lo mando, vea? Se lo mando a usted o a su jefe. Entonces, sending me the report, como haciendo notar que sí, lo necesito yo. Pero no es necesario. I could say sending, and it's okay. Ahora, el detalle importante acá es, si yo le pregunto, Jorge, would you mind opening the windows? Would you mind opening the windows? Yes, no problem. Ahí no puedo decir yes, no problem. Ok. Solo porque si yo digo yes, le estoy diciendo que no lo haga. Ok. Ese es el detalle acá. Bien, a eso quería llegar. Si yo le digo yes, a esa respuesta es que sí me importa. Maybe I'm cold, right? Okay. Entonces, would you mind opening the windows? Oh, yes, I'm cold, right? Oh, yes, it's uh, too windy outside, okay? So I'm not going to do it, yeah? If I say yes, I'm not going to do it, correct? Entonces, aquí tenemos, si dicen que sí, es que no. Y si dicen que no, es que sí. <ríe> ok, veámoslo <ríe> nuevamente, sí. ok? Veámoslo sí. nuevamente sí. para que... Sí, porque, perdón, eh, bueno, traduciendo al español, me imagino que dice, ¿te molesta si abres la ventana? Y si Ajá. le digo, yes, sí me molesta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <ríe> si me molesta, entonces sí. no la abro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. no la abro. Entonces es lo mismo acá, uh -huh. ¿ya? Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much for visualizing in that um, example. Yes, it's like that. Please, so, teacher. Excuse me? Delis. Oh, thank you very much, Elisa. Uh, ahí me puede decir, could you please call the roll? Okay, could you please call the roll? <laughs> no, just, just joking, <laughs> just joking. This is just to practice the language. Okay, now let's go to call the roll. Remember, would you mind turning on your cameras and saying present when you hear your name? Not at all, teacher. Everybody, please, turning on the cameras. Yeah, there you go. So, Carolibet Chavez Reyes. Present. Okay, Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Okay, Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. José Mauricio García Hernández. <coughs> Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Here, present teacher. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Present. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Luz Dianet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loais. Present. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Present teacher. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Present. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. 
Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Okay, then. Uh, right now we are going to start with, I'm sorry. There is a problem with my camera. I don't know what is going on with my camera. Would you mind just waiting for a short? Okay, there we are. There we are, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. We're gonna start tonight with a new topic, okay? With this topic that it's very important for us and we want to talk about the behavior, behavior. So let's go to the platform, okay? Vamos a la plataforma. Y en la plataforma yo les posteé ahorita hace un momento una pregunta muy importante. Vamos a ver. Todos en la plataforma. Vamos a la viñeta de discussion o abajo ustedes pueden encontrar donde está discussion también. Creo que ahí les aparecía y el tema es, do you have regulations about employees behavior? Do you have regulations about employees behavior? Vamos a compartir la pantalla. ¿Están todos ahí en la plataforma? Yes, but I, I don't see. And the label of discussion. Arriba, donde está la, la cinta de, del menú, donde están todas, ahí hay una viñeta que dice discusión, or discussion, right? Ahora, el tema al que nosotros vamos ahorita es this one. How to use should and should not, okay? Should and should not. This is your video conference number 12. And today is February the 9th. Uh, and we are in the year 2022. Uh, we want to practice saying what is rude behavior and what is a, an appropriate behavior, okay? Good manners and bad manners. So let me see. The objective of this topic is students will be able to use should and should not to make a list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. So it means they do's and don'ts, okay? So what is correct and what is not correct in our workplaces, okay? Entonces, vamos a aprender a usar should and should not, okay? Para hacer una lista de comportamientos apropiados e inapropiados en el lugar de trabajo, okay? Should and should not. Like, estos, esta... Um, eh, estructura es utilizada, perdón, para dar como consejo o decir lo que se debe hacer, ¿ok? It's a modal verb, es un eh, verbo modal, ¿verdad? Si ustedes lo buscan eh, para apoyarse en otro material, aunque aquí hay bastante material porque tenemos el manual, tenemos la plataforma, en la plataforma hay discusiones, hay ejercicios en las tareas y queda grabado este video, ¿verdad? Entonces, si ustedes quieren reforzar con algún libro para buscar este tema, sería modal verb should and shouldn't, right? Should, how to use should is a modal verb, verbo modal, ¿ok? Modal verb. So let's think about the behavior. What is behavior? Behavior. ¿Qué es behavior? Para entender la pregunta que tenemos en la plataforma. Es como la conducta. Yes. Yes. The way, the way to, the way to be. Okay. The way to be. Una forma de ser. Okay, behavior are good manners, okay, are good manners 
and behavior could be good behavior and behavior could be a rude behavior, okay? Bad behavior is a rude behavior. ¿Cómo se llama el mal comportamiento? Rude. Rude behavior. behavior. Bad behavior, okay? Okay. En sus compañías o en todas las compañías, nosotros tenemos normas, reglas, ¿ok? Normalmente nos dan como un listado, ¿verdad? Of rules, que las llamamos regulations, ¿ok? Regulations. Regulations. Ahora, también podríamos decir law, ¿ok? La ley en nuestro comportamiento afuera de la compañía o dentro de la compañía hay leyes laborales, ¿verdad? Que nos respaldan o que nos acusan, ¿verdad? De un mal comportamiento. Nos respaldan en un buen comportamiento, pero nos acusan en un mal comportamiento. Entonces, law, law. Aquí tenemos la palabra, miren. Law, hay leyes. Law, law. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Law. 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 Tenemos rules, tenemos reglas, rules. 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 Tenemos regulations, regulaciones, right? Regulations. Regulations. We have standards, standards. Standard. Standards, ¿qué significa lo mismo en español? Un estándar, ¿verdad? Que todos deben estar en ese nivel de buen comportamiento o de mal comportamiento, right? Standard como... Cumplimientos like compliance, compliance, and uh, requirements, requirements, requerimientos, ¿ok? Y una cosa fundamental de las compañías esta, es establecer políticas, to establish policies. Veamos cómo dice acá, policies, policies. policies. A ver todos, policies, policies. 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 Okay. Policies. Aquí no vamos a decir policies porque no es así. Es policies. Okay. Policies. Entonces, estamos hablando de los do's y de los don'ts. Lo que sí you should do y lo que no you shouldn't do. Ok, vámonos entonces a la plataforma ya que tenemos esta introducción, ok. Y ustedes me van a escribir ahí en este mismo instante. Voy a compartir la pantalla solo para Bien. que vean dónde están. Ok. Y la pregunta es, do you have regulations about employees' behavior. Okay, here we have it. You see? Teacher. Mm -hmm. O sea, me meto ahí en discusión, pero me sale filtrar temas, todas okay. las discusiones, ahí general donde dice, week. Ahí donde dice todas las discusiones, eh, click on all topics. Uh -huh. The first one, it says, do you have regulations? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sí. okay. Then okay. click on that one. Thank you. Okay. Okay, people, here we are. Do you have regulations about employees' behavior? Do you have regulations about employees' behavior? A ver, todos escribiendo en donde está acá la respuesta, ¿ok? Dice, add a response, ¿ok? Add a response. Hagan clic en add a response. O oh, añadir respuesta, creo que dice en español, ¿verdad? Y les aparece un cuadrito. En ese cuadrito, ustedes me van a poner la respuesta a esto. Si ustedes tienen regulaciones que yo sé que sí, right? You have to name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Things that they uh, don't want, right? Es mal comportamiento. Unacceptable behavior, okay? Thank you. 
¿Sí se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? Yes. Ok. Para que me aparezca, denle submit. Abajo está el clic en submit. Hello, Jessica. No teacher. Okay, we are in the platform. Okay. Váyanse a la plataforma en, el, en la viñeta de discusión. Ok, usted le da discusión. Luego de ahí pone all topics o, eh, eh, ¿cómo decía Carla María en español? Filtrar. Todos los temas, creo que decía, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá. Filtrar todos los temas y ahí tiene que okay. darle clic y se le va a desplegar. Thank you. Okay. El, el primero que aparece arriba dice, do you have regulations? Y ahí usted le da clic. ¿Ya llegó Car Carla Raquel? Ahorita, güey. Ok. Ahí Jessica tiene que responder la pregunta, ok, ahí dice, uh, do you have regulations at your workplace? Y usted pone tres ejemplos de mal comportamiento, an appropriate behavior. What topic change? En el filtro, ¿qué tenemos que elegir? El primero que dice, do you have regulations? Ok, voy a ir desde el principio a compartir la pantalla para poder hacerlo con ustedes. ¿Para qué? Okay, okay. Ahí voy. Talking about company reputation. Ah, no. 
este es el que tiene que poner. Entonces, donde dice todos los temas o todos los uh -huh. posts, ¿ok? Yes. Eh, perdón, aquí me fui en el otro lado. Arriba tenemos la label of discussion. Veamos discusión para ver lo que le aparece. ¿Ok? Ahí le va a aparecer esta listita. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahorita mm -hmm. va a salir ahí. Luego aquí dice mm -hmm. all topics. Miren, aquí dice all topics. Y el primero que aparece oh. es el que estamos haciendo. Hoy sí. Pero no me aparece. Ni a mí me aparece, teacher, eh, y me tuve que cambiar la compu porque del teléfono no puedo. Y en show all posts. Show all posts. Sí, ese le, le, le doy mostrar todas las publicaciones y no me aparece. Eh, by recent activity. Solo tengo talking about companies. Dele para abajo, y, dele para sí. abajo y dele para arriba. Hoy. Talking about uh, companies fue el primero, quizás. Uh -huh. De ahí me dice using passive voice. Uh -huh. Y what is what is Google, Google now for? Uh -huh. Solo esos me aparecen. Uh -huh. Igual, también me aparecen también lo mismo pero no me aparece la ticha. ¿Ya la tenían abierta desde antes? ¿Sí? ¿O la acaban de abrir? No, yo también la tenía abierta desde antes. Entonces, en la compu, sí. ¿Y si le apareció? No. Vale, entonces váyanse a la flechita de actualizar. Me aparece en todos los temas y ahí está. Sí, ahí tendría que aparecer. Entonces, Ahora aquí arriba. De actualizar. O del en F5. F5. Uh -huh. okay. Es la primera que aparece. Sí. Lo mismo me aparece. Igual. ¿Entraron por esta label por aquí? ¿Entraron por esta que estoy señalando? Sí. Entraron por ahí. Va. Entonces váyanse a curso. Okay. Ya. Ahora sí ya me salió. Hoy sí. Bye. Sí. Que, eh, Kenny, si aún no uh -huh. le aparece, vaya hacia curso y luego se va en la sección 3, es el camino más largo, ¿ok? Se va uh -huh. a la sección 3, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Luego, unidad 3. Uh -huh. Ya va a aparecer, permítame. Y luego estamos ahora en la videoconference number 12, right? How to use should and should not. Usted le da clic en la clase. Aún no está este video subido, sino que hay uno de referencia. Y luego aquí abajo, hasta abajo, le aparece, mire. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, voy a probar así. Ok. Bien, voy a aprovechar y vamos a ver las respuestas que hay. Okay. We're going to see the answers that you provided. So it says here, Lisa del Carmen. Yeah, workplace harassment, discrimination of any kind, theft. Okay, very good. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Yes, I have regulations in my company. Good. Banking secrecy, uh, secret, okay. El secreto, tal vez eh, la es, el spelling creo que está mal. Vamos a ver. Comply with due diligence and do not accept gifts from customers. Okay, yes, that's for all kind of service. I mean, customer service, yeah. 
they don't have to accept. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Uh, let's see, Lucia Azucena. Don't chat in meetings. Don't answer messages in the meetings. Good. Don't laugh. Laugh very loudly. Okay. Very good. Yes, I have regulations to be punctu uh, punctual. To be punctual. Uh, do the planification. Give the class to the students. Very good. Yes, we have regulations. For example, arrive on time. Don't say bad words, treat us with respect, treat each other, right? Treat each other with all respect. Uh, discrimination against your coworkers, okay? Fraud, mm -hmm. not commitment to work. Yes, that will be a very bad behavior. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's see if we have more answers. Lo encontró, Kenny? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, Marcos Amilcar says, take credit for work someone else did. Yeah, someone else did. Mm -hmm. Spread rumors. Yes, that it's a very bad behavior. Unappropriate completely. Do not underestimate the other companions. Okay, very good. Very good. That's inappropriate. Uh, the regulations are not to eat. And as the case is not eating. Not eating on the production floor. Hair tied back. Okay, and not to run inside the plant. Okay, yeah. Good to observe up all the safety rules, right? Yeah. It is Marina said, regulations in my company. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, are, right? Respect the schedule. Very good. Uh, wear the uniform properly and always provide good service to the uh, associate, to the associate. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. I will stop sharing right now and let's go to the manuals. There we have a short conversation that we want to practice and we want to see how to use should and how to use should not, okay? Should and should not. The contraction of should not is shouldn't, okay? The contraction of should not is shouldn't, shouldn't, okay? Pronunciation. Okay, let's start reading this conversation. It's between Claudia and Ryan, I think it is. Let's watch it. Okay, ah, Raul, it was not Ryan, it was Raul. Okay, then listen to your instructor and read the, uh, reading the conversation, then practice with the partner. Then we are going to practice here. Claudia and Raul, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that's not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. <laughs> that's not polite either. I agree. We shall help him instead, right? Okay, let's read this 30 seconds. Todos leyéndolo. Everybody reading this? 
I can't believe it. I can't believe, believe it. it. Robert, Robert is addicted to, to his mom. mom. Did you see Did him? Did you see him? You're right. He shall not shut in the meeting. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. They is not polite. We shall answer his messages after the meetings, and we shall not talk about him. That's not polite. Agree. We shall help him instead. That's not polite. Agree. We should. He is dead. Okay. Vamos a ver algunas pronunciaciones. Okay. Vamos a ver algunas pronunciaciones. Primero, should not. 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 Polite. Polite. Ah, polite. 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 Everybody, polite. 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 Okay. Polite. What is polite? Polite es educado, amable, educado. Polite. Ok, la próxima es either, 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 either. Aquí tiene el significado como tampoco, ¿eh? Tampoco. ¿eh? En otros significados, podemos encontrar otra palabra que podría ser también, ¿ok? Pero en este caso es tampoco, tampoco, either. Ahora, esta palabra, instead, 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 en vez de, en lugar de, instead, instead, ¿ok? Everybody, please repeat, instead. Yeah. Ahora, veamos, ¿en qué contexto o en qué situación ustedes se imaginan a estas dos personas hablando de una tercera persona? Secret. Yeah, kind of a secretly thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hambre. Ajá. <laughs> yeah, that, that word is gossip. Gossip. Okay. They are gossiping here. Gossip. Yeah. That's in chump. Yes. Do you think that gossiping is polite? What do you think? Gossiping. Do you think is that polite? Oh. It's a It's polite behavior. Polite. It's not a polite behavior, right? <laughs> Ahora, imaginémonos cómo ellos lo, lo estarían diciendo, ¿verdad? Cómo lo estarían diciendo ahí. Entonces, vamos a usar en, esa entonación ahorita, ¿ok? Vamos a usar esa entonación ahorita. Voy a agarrar, vamos a ver. Marta Lidia, y sígame la corriente, ¿ok? So, Marta Lidia. <laughs> Marta Lidia, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He shall not chat it a me, it a me, me. Absolutely, that is not polite. He shall answer his missus after the meetings and we shall not talk about him. That's no police. Either, either. I agree. We should help him and instead. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. There we are. This is the way that we want to talk, right? This is the way that we want to practice this conversation. Let's imagine that you are talking and this person back, okay? Están hablando a espaldas de esta persona. So, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Nos vamos a ir al breakout room, okay? Pero lo vamos a hacer de esta manera, okay? Lo vamos a hacer así como que estamos secreteando, ¿verdad? Okay. Gossiping, kind of. So let's, uh, before, do you have any question about the vocabulary in the, in the conversation? ¿Alguna pregunta de el vocabulario ahí en esa eh, conversación? The, the page, teacher. 
Uh, page number 20, uh, I'm sorry, 31, 31. 31. Okay, there we go. Uh, así lo vamos a hacer como que estamos secretly talking about someone and their backs. Okay. Shoulder. 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 Head. Head. Instead, we should we should help him instead. En vez de estar hablando, mejor digamos y ayudemos, le vea. Okay, there we go. No. Voy a compartir. Teacher. Hello. Hello. How do you say? How do you say? Uh, chambrosas. In English. <laughs> like that? Gossiper. Gossiper. Así le digo, oh. le voy a decir así mi compañero y como no sabe, no me va a entender que le estoy diciendo. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, you're right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Solo hay que acercarla un poco. Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. Gators either, either. Okay, we should heal him instead. 
Inters. Inters. Uh -huh. Okay. I can believe it. Robert is addicted to his farm. Do you see him? You are right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That is not police agent. Agree. We shall help him instead. Instead. Teacher, solo le vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Yes. Instead, Julio César. Instead. 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 Y este instead. es polite, polite. Mire, Carla, polite. 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 Either. Either. Ay, sí, va polite. Eh. Yo polite, qué valor. <laughs> es cierto, polite. Oh, my God. <laughs> Carla, Raquel, you are so funny. Oh, my God. Either, either. 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 Como either. que lo dijera con una D, ¿verdad? Pero es con una suavecita. Either. 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 Mm -hmm. Polite y instead. Yes. Instead. instead. Mm -hmm. instead. Okay. Let's go to the main room now, guys. Let's go. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Así vamos a quedar. Ay, teacher. No listen, teacher. Yeah, that's why I was doing, right? That's what I was doing. I was just chatting, right? Using the chat. Okay, on the chat I wrote, on the chat I wrote the adjective, okay? The adjective of a person who likes to gossip, right? Um, it's a gossipy person, right? I remember the series Gossip Girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gossip, yeah. You're right. <laughs> okay, let's listen. Ah, pero hagámoslo así con la entonación de que están hablando y hagan as a expressions, right? Let's pretend. Let's pretend we are gossiping. I know that you don't practice that kind of behavior, but let's pretend, okay? Let's pretend. Okay, let's see. It is Marina, please. Okay. Are you ready, Julie? You can ready? Julie, Julie, right? Pero, pero comparta la, la profesora puede compartir la pantalla. Sure, no problem, I'll do it. Okay, there it goes, here it goes. Okay. I am um, Claudia, yes? Julie. Hi. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to the phone. Did you 
Sing. To write, it shall not chat in meeting. Absolutely. They is at not polite. He shall transfer his message after the mirror in which all the talk about him that's not polite either. Great. We shall have his instant. Thank you very much. Thank you. You did a very good play. I mean, role play. Okay. Now. Hay otra forma en la que nosotros hacemos también, o tal vez no nosotros, ¿verdad? Otras, otras chicas eh, llegan donde nosotros y me ¡Ja! ¡Piera pisto! ¡Vos lo que pasó! ¿eh? Y hasta seis sí, mates. Ah, pues queremos una pareja así ahorita, ¿ok? We want a couple like that, ¿ok? Exaggerating everything, ¿ok? Exaggerating. Y los hombres. A los hombres queremos escuchar cómo son. Para... Cómo... Ajá, ok. <laughs> Can you imagine what's the way they gossip? <laughs> gossip boys. <laughs> yeah. They like to do it. They say they don't, but I think they do, right? They do like it. <laughs> okay. Very, very... Let me let me see they, uh, the groups here to say someone, right? Okay, let's see. Ponemos a los varones. Okay, we are gonna ask. Sorry, boys. <laughs> okay, Jorge Antonio and Marta Lidia. Ah, okay, okay. Jorge Antonio and Marta Lidia. Y Pero después se preparan boys. José Mauricio and Carol, okay? Boys and boys. Ah, uh, yes. no. Boys and boys. Groups, groups, yes, groups. Yes. <laughs> Ah, vaya, pues sí, porque es cierto, a man it's more polite when a woman is gossiping, right? Yeah, you're right, you're right. A ver, pero escuchémoslos a ellos y después entonces, en vez de Carol, I'm sorry, Carol, vamos Next. a pedirle a Julio y a José Mauricio, ¿ok? Yeah, esta es la petición del público, chicos, tienen barra, yeah, Julio, Mauricio, right? Ok, there we go, Jorge en... Uh, Marta Lidia, start. Okay. Jorge, I can't believe it. Robert is added to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should sure not chat in a minute. Actually, that is not polite. He should sure answer. Is the same after the meeting, and we shall not talk about, talk about him that's not polite, Aide. Aide, we shall help, help him instead. Okay, thank you very much. Y la pareja más aclamada, Jose Mauricio and Julio. <laughs> okay, start, guys. <laughs> I'm Claudia, please. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, go ahead. No problem. <laughs> Do you write? Uh, per perdón. Con Julio me dijo, perdón. Yes, yes. Okay. I can't believe it. <laughs> Robert is addicted to his pawn. Did you see him? You're right. He saw no chat in the mirror. Absolutely. That is not polite. He saw runs where his message after the meetings, and we saw no talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We shall help him instead. <laughs> Se lleva todo un Oscar, don José sí. Mauricio, y todo su elenco, Julio. Yay. Ok, yeah, very good. Ya pasaron, teacher, ya pasaron. Ok, ya pasaron. Bien, ya estamos off the clock. Ya estamos afuera de las 10 de la noche. So we are going to stop here. And uh, let me call the roll. 
Remember to do your homework, please. Ahorita eh, todavía no hemos visto la gramática de should, ¿ok? Así que la terminamos mañana, pero ustedes pueden adelantar. No es necesario si ustedes ya eh, se pueden guiar y ya conocen ahora should porque ya lo vieron en el uso en la conversación, lo pueden hacer perfectamente. Ahora, si ustedes quieren adelantar tareas, bienvenidos. Be my guest, ¿ok? Háganlo, por favor. Eso les va a ayudar a enriquecer su vocabulario más prontamente. Bien, déjenme llamar la lista, perdón, pasar la lista. A ver. Qué buena actuación, me da. Vamos a ver. <ríe> Carol Ibe Chávez Reyes. Present. Derby Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Ok. Guadalupe y Amilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. José Mauricio García Hernández. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Lucía Azucena Chica de Claros. Marcos Amílcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, María Luz Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loaiz. Present. Evel, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Present. Ok. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present teacher. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Ok. Bien, vamos a ver una cosa que ahora le toca a Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Laura, ¿se va a quedar a la sesión uno a uno? No veo Laura. Se nos desconectó Laura. No Laura. Está, Laura se fue. Oh my God. Yeah, you're right. As the song, right? Entonces, eh, puede quedarse Lucía Azucena. ¿Quiere Lucía Azucena quedarse? Lucía. No está fue. Lucía también. Ay, también, Laura y, y Lucía. Marcos, ¿quisiera quedarse usted? Tampoco, ya se nos fue Marcos. No, no teacher. No, ah, vaya, no, ya pues sí, ya nos había ido. Vamos a ver, eh, entonces, ¿quién quiere quedarse? No me digan ustedes qué barbaridad. Yo me siento súper comprometida porque todos quieren un espacio. Dios mío, no hay dónde ponerlos a todos. Vale. Vamos a ver entonces, acuérdense, do your homework, adelántense, váyanse hasta el final si quieren, pero háganlo, ¿ok? Es muy bonito eh, estar preparado para la siguiente clase, ¿ok? So, have a good night. And see you tomorrow. Nobody <laughs> wants to stay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good rest. Uh, good night. Bye. 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 Guys. Good Take night. care, Kenny. Bye. Tengo una consulta. Tell me, Iris. Este, siempre elaborando el examen en la plataforma. Este, hay unas oraciones ahí que no, no puedo pasar. Las coloco de una forma o de otra y no me salen. A ver, veámoslas. Eh, ¿Cuál es la, la ¿Puedo que ¿Puedo compartir es? pantalla? Ah, claro que sí. Perfecto. Okay. Háganlo. A ver.
esta. No sé si la puede ver ahora. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, sí la veo ahorita, permítanme. Ya nos quedamos. Ah, solo un momentito. Sí, ok. Iris. Ok, aquí lo que tiene que hacer, le decía yo a su compañera también que, que me, me preguntaba, sí. es que tenemos que agregar el auxiliar correcto. Si uh -huh. es she, he, it, le tiene que agregar does, ¿verdad? Y si es I, you, we, uh -huh. or they, le tiene que agregar el do para hacer una pregunta correcta. Entonces, uh -huh. veamos la número uno. Sí, vaya. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, tenemos what, tenemos this machine, y tenemos el verbo principal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, sí. Pero en las preguntas, eh, en las preguntas en tiempo presente, el auxiliar que usamos es do, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ese es el auxiliar que usamos. Lo que nos confunde, o le, quizás tal vez le da la confusión, es que ahí dice do, ¿verdad? Pero ¿Sí? do, ese es el verbo principal. Es como oh. que yo le preguntara a usted, mire, ¿qué hace esa máquina? Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. What, el sujeto es this machine. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. This machine. This machine es it. Entonces, ¿cuál uh -huh. voy a usar? El das. Das, correct. Uh -huh. uh, do es, das. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you are. What does this machine do? Ahí no le va a salir buena por el machine. Sí. Ajá. Okay. Okay. A ver. Ahora, lo no. mismo en la otra. Le tenemos que agregar do or does. Ok. Yeah, ya salió buena. Ok. Ahora le agregamos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Si es she, sí. tendría que ser does. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Ve con todo, menos con los auxiliares. Chico. Ah, ok. Y esa uh -huh. es la parte correcta, que estábamos hablando uh -huh. de las preguntas de información en tiempo presente. ¿Verdad? Mm, ahí, permítame, permítame. Ok, veamos. La frase completa de pregunta es, how many people? Ok. How ah. many people? Le falta, no, no, no. Le falta ex, antes de, de, después de many, tiene que poner uh -huh. people porque es completo. How many people uh -huh. does uh -huh. she supervise? Uh -huh. Yo lo coloqué al final. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Sí. Ahí. Okay. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Okay. No problem. Okay, okay <laughs> then it is Janet. Uh, don't you have any other question with the homework? Mm, no, no question. No? Okay. no. okay. Okay, then see you tomorrow. Have a good rest. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Bye.